guys and welcome to the channel where today we're going to work in the grungy beautiful journal um, as a guest design project from sunflowers and doors so today we're working on a mini brown paper bag journal okay so in this one generally speaking i would use that little brown paper bag flat and i have one here to show you these are very simple And you can make them any size. You can make them regular grocery store paper size, lunch bag size, um, little tiny. Oops, sorry. I keep. I have up here, up there, um, a clamp holding my light, and I keep hitting it. Okay. So generally, um, I've seen a lot of people make this inside pocket your um, front pocket. But I did mine different today, so basically you're just going to fold your bag in half. You're going to take your glue. You're going to glue down this flap. Just like so. On both sides. And then press it down. Okay, Instant pocket right there. And I don't want to open it now. Optional. I glued mine inside here. Just like little glue all the way across just like so on both sides all right it doesn't have to be anything super tough okay so then you fold it in half then you take whatever paper you want whatever um, embellishment you want you glue one to the front you glue one to the inside and you go to the back and you can glue a piece on this flap. I did notch mine, that's totally up to you. And then a piece right here. So now we have our pocket and our back covered, our front covered. We'll get to the, the back back later, okay? Right now we're just working on the aesthetic of it, right? So then you decide what papers you want. I just chose um, ledger paper, uh, Spanish dictionary, more ledger paper. This is like a deli paper given to me by my friend um, Elaine. Some music papers, um, a different uh, dictionary page, more of the deli paper, more of the, um, um, geez, I just said it general ledger paper, music paper. So I just layered it up, layered it up, layered it up. Cut it to fit the way I wanted it to fit because this is a grungy, I didn't want it, <coughs> excuse me, I didn't want it perfect. Okay, so we find our center. And this is for all of my folks out there who have not seen a three hole pamphlet stitch, okay? And this is pretty basic for all of your these, you know, if you're going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch in a journal or a mini journal, it's all the same. Come down about a half an inch, come up about a half an inch, and then I eyeball about where the center is. Okay, then we're going to thread our needle. Let's be very careful. I have a favorite. Now, if you're comfortable, you don't need the pokey tool. If, if it's not something huge, you don't need the, the awl. Normally what I would do is I would just poke through all of these. But if it's something thin, then I just use my needle. Okay? So it's all, you know, individual. And then rule of thumb, I just measure, which is how I learned it, three times the width of the, the actual journal one two, three, and then cut it off. Okay, the next need to know after we poke our tools is directional, okay? Do you want, okay, so now I've got my pages where I want them, so I'm going to paper clip them. Now my husband did make for me a book binding cradle, but again, when it's something small like this, I'm not going to mess, okay? And a 
apologize for my guy. He just wants to get right by my window and bark. He needs to tell me that there's really nobody out there, but there are people walking by his yard, his house, his family, so he needs to tell me. Okay, so got my needle threaded. You don't have to put a knot in the end or anything like that. So being very careful, taking your pokey tool, you're going to go through one, through two, through three. Okay? Now, here is the thing. Okay, I hope this does, oops, sorry. I hope this does not confuse you. I keep hitting this and I'm thinking I'm hitting my camera, but I'm not. Okay, so if you want your ties to be on the inside of your book, I think you have to go through the outside. Okay, one, you start it in the middle always. One, you go to the top, all the way through, that's two. Then you go all, oh no, this is for the outside. Then you go all the way to the bottom, three. This is if you want your threads to the outside, okay? If you want them to the end, you start with the end, okay? In this direction. All right, I think I've just confused you guys even more. That was not my intention, okay? I'll start it over here and again just to show you what I mean, all right? So you go from the middle to the top first, from the top to the bottom second, and then back through the middle, okay? And then your strings are on the outside, okay? But if you want them to the inside, I believe you gotta go from the inside. It's okay, we're gonna do this one more time anyhow. All right, we're gonna go from the inside to the out. Same concept. You start with a middle hole. Always start with your middle hole going through. Okay. I and then you go to the top all the way through. You go to the bottom all the way through. Come on. My thread got, I don't know what happened with it. It's, it's not really hung up, but it's not really wanting to come through and it's waxed. I don't get it. Okay, so then back through the middle hole. Okay. Pull your thread through. And see, now they're on the inside. So just remember, Threads to the inside, start with the inside. If you want the threads on the outside, start from the outside. Always the same though. Middle hole is one. Then you go up to the top hole is two. You come all the way down to the third hole, that's three. And then you come back through the middle, that's four. Okay, four steps. And then you tie it. Okay, and then you've got one thread on this side of the string, one thread on that side of the string. So you just take this off now, give it a gentle tug, so you're you're set. Okay, and then do a square knot. One, two, cut. And that's it. That's all she wrote on that. All right, so we can take our clamps off. And now our signatures are in. And right side up. Oh, yes. That's always a good thing. Make sure you check before you proceed. All right. So there we go. We, we could actually call this done if we wanted to. But we're not done. We're going to add some stuff to it. So on the inside flap, I have a large pocket right here. And this came with the kit. Again, I will leave the link to Mandy's Etsy shop in the description and to her YouTube channel and to her Facebook group. Okay, so this guy is going to go here. 
I'm going to ink it just because I don't like anything stark white. That's just me. I was seeing some videos the other day of, I can't remember who it was now, but they were doing um, white pages. And I was like, hey, that doesn't look half bad. Isn't that, I mean, I think it's the way we learn. I learned um, no white pages, right? Everything has to have a, a copy dyed or whatever background, you know, background pages. And I'm, I guess I'm secretly talking myself into saying it's okay to do that. All right, so this will go here. My glue, my glue. And we're going to glue these down. I wonder if I should do this to the outside. Yeah, I think I'll do that one to the outside. Glue down. Glue down. Glue down. And please, guys, if you watch my video, just take the time to just leave a like. You don't miss a comment's always good, but just leave a like so that YouTube knows I'm alive and well. Or at least alive. Alright, so there's one pocket, guys. Great, right? Done. Alright, now you all saw me. I don't know, maybe you saw them. I don't know if you saw me cut them out or not, but we've got these. So these I'm just gonna put on the page, just like that. And we'll do some different things in the book. I'm not gonna take a lot of time on it because this is just an add-on. So just a little something extra, right? Okay, so many of you know I'm doing a 500 subscriber giveaway, or you may not know, but it's coming up. And so don't forget to leave a comment also in all my videos because um, one's going to be a design team giveaway, and then I'm going to do what I'm going to call a sub appreciation, just a sub appreciation giveaway, okay? And that just means public subscribe to my channel um, and then leave a like comment and if you could share all right so that's what we're doing I have 16 of these I don't know how many pages we have we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just skip a couple of pages. Or, you know what I could do is just cut another set. I'll just cut another set. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. And it doesn't matter if they repeat, right? And so each one of those are just going to go on these corner pages, right? And when we come back in the next video, those will magically be done. Because I want to, like I said, I don't mind if they repeat. They won't be in the exact same order because I'm not paying attention to the order, right? I just know there won't be any repeats. Like It won't say beeswax twice. Okay? Just like that. I think that's cute. And then we'll of course figure out what we're going to put in here okay so we got those and then on this back page i wanted to put a small one maybe two i don't know yet because i have some smaller stuff i can put in there right Just put this one on the back Just like so. So you guys can see how easy you can turn a digital kit into just something really cool. And so I like both. I like doing the digital kits. Let's go. Yeah, we'll go this way. I like doing the digital kits and I like doing my own thing. Right? Cool. So see, we've got little things we can stick in there. Doesn't have to be much. Just little places where you can write. Okay. And that will do there. All right. So then 
we're going to do these guys on all the corners, right? Except for actually, I think let's come in just about this far. Okay. I'm going to put this guy right here. I need, I need to trim it though. I need to trim it. This is just going to be a tuck spot. Let's see if it'll fit now. Yeah, you'll fit. We're just going to make this a tuck spot, guys. That's it. Whoops. Can't put it on that side. Can anybody guess why? I'm going to put it right here. We will put it right there. Should just make it a pocket. That's what I'll do. I'll just make it a pocket. Just make it a pocket. And it'll go here. Bring it down. Get it centered there. Alright. So see now we have a pocket. There we go. Again, simple. All right, and then we have another little pocket. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the eighth page. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know if I like that, but we're gonna do it on the back of this one. I'll just put you right here. Doesn't have to be perfect. We'll put it in the middle. And then you can just put little things in there. Just because I didn't like where it was going and it doesn't have to be specific. Be specific, yeah. Uh oh. I know what I forgot to do. Because we got a white edge there. Just a little bit, guys. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm going to make sure to glue that down too much. There we go. I'm going to put a couple things in there. And then we got another one of these guys. I think that guy could probably go here. Like I said, we're not being entirely specific. This is just a tiny little mini journal. Okay. And you get the idea then how quickly you can turn um, something basic into something really cool. And then don't forget, and I'll continue to do the little words. And remember to subscribe because I don't know which video I will pull my comments from. But I am going to do a... Whoops, I got that a little short. Or a little long, actually. I was trying to say, did it go all the way? Yeah, it went all the way. I don't know what I was thinking. Like that. So now we have another little pocket here for our little clusters. They're kind of short. We'll just do this. And I have tags, but oops, I just didn't want to put some. I don't want to put anything foo foo in there because it's a grunge journal. I'll just put these guys in there. gotten enough out right okay guys I appreciate you we might do some more work in here just because I want to do some stamping and I want to do some yeah just some stamping and finish putting the ephemera in there okay so we'll put these there and there's some tags there are some tags coming okay like there's going to be tags that go in here, but they'll be bigger, right? So you get the idea. And then this just goes 
has a little extra inside the journal, right? And you can put stuff in here if you want. And you can put stuff in here if you want. Now, if you wanted to make this a two pocket, you could cut that open. And you could put stuff in the back, right? And we still have to put something on the back here. Something on the back, guys, and then we can call it then we can call it complete, right? And we'll keep that. We will definitely keep that to make um, whale tail tabs or other tabs. Some other, I have another two. I have my whale tail punch now, and I have this guy. And I'll show you what he makes. He makes, let's just use this. You fold your paper, slide it in. Um, I think you have to go just almost to the edge. What is going on? I don't like that paper, let me tell you. Okay, so we'll go here. I thought this would work like my whale tail tab, but it doesn't. See, it makes those. And I guess, let me try that again. I think you have to go all the way against, all the way to the back. How funny, it doesn't work like mine. No, it does not. I wonder if you would do it. This is, this is insane. Yeah, it doesn't work like my old one. Sorry about that. I took you on a wild goose chase, guys, but it does do two of these signs which you could put here on your pages. And I might do that, too. That would be fun. I'll cut some of those out and glue them on. Not in this video, though. We're done for now. Other than getting this on the back and inking it. Right? We are done. Thank you guys for coming along, and I'll see you in the next video.